What a welcoming sight, this rich basket of fruit. It's the best Italy has to offer. Figs from the south, grapes from all over the peninsula, peaches and cherries from the north. All of this bounty put together and offered to you by that handsome young man in the background. The gifts, the fruits, the incredible lushness that nature has to offer. This work has a lot to do with wanting to share one's gift. And the artist, Michelangelo Marisi, came to Rome from Milan, a young still life painter in 1595, looking for fame and fortune. But when he got to Rome, he was greeted with several unsettling pieces of information. One was that the name Michelangelo had already been taken by Michelangelo Buonarroti, the sculptor, architect, and painter who had died just 40 years earlier. So our young Michelangelo Marisi had to find another name. He took the name of his hometown, Caravaggio. Now the second problem our young Caravaggio had is that Rome was a city for great opportunities for young artists, except not for still life painters. A painting of fruit or flowers, it would end up in someone's living room, never to be noticed by a wider public. The real action, the real excitement, was in history painting. And so this young painter, untrained in the art of fresco and draftsmanship, was worried about how to share his gifts with the world. Hence this painting, Caravaggio's first documented work, Boy with Basket of Fruit, probably painted around 1595 and today in the Galleria Borghese in Rome. And what we see is something we could interpret as a business card, that he puts forth this incredibly lush basket showing off his incredible talents. So when you look at this waxy surface of one fruit, you can see the must that's painted on the grapes. Each little, fra each little bit of light that reflects off the straw, the rough surface of the fig that opens to reveal the flesh inside and peeking under a green leaf, you can see those red berries of a pomegranate glistening outwards. Caravaggio wanted to show his incredible talent, his very, very highly skilled ability to paint almost a photographically real fruit. And if you want to see the real genius in the work, look at the apple, the cherries, and the peach. These three fruits use the same two colors. But the way Caravaggio puts the glaze and the brush stroke, you can almost feel the waxy surface of the apple. Imagine the crunch of the cherry and the sensation of the fuzz on the skin of the peach. He was showing off, looking for work. If he has to have a work as a still life painter to eat, he'll take it. But now let's direct our gaze to the boy in the background, to that young man who's painted with those soft strokes, the chiaroscuro, the use of light and shade to create the hollows in his neck and his shoulder. That was Caravaggio learning to to encapsulate the drama of the human body, which is essential for history painting. So Caravaggio, in a certain sense, is looking for work, and he's ready to work in still life art, but he's also hoping that someone will give him the opportunity to get involved in the far more prestigious style of history painting. Now, Caravaggio was faced with a problem, and interestingly, that self-same basket of fruit gives us a hint of the problem. If we look one more time at that basket, we can see a leaf that's poking out of the space, a yellowing leaf, a leaf that looks like it should be plucked away by any worthy food stylist. Then you look a little bit more closely and you'll see the brownish grapes. You'll see spots on the pear. You'll see a fig that is already split and is open on the left-hand side. What does that tell us? If you leave that basket of fruit out much longer, what's going to happen? It will be overripe. It will be too mature. And Caravaggio made us think about the passage of time with this work. Caravaggio produces a painting where we see this young boy at the, the cusp of manhood. We see this basket of fruit in its last moments before it begins to rot. And we realize 
that Caravaggio himself knew time was passing. There wasn't much longer that this 24, 25 year old man could try to enter into the world of, of history painting. Soon he would be too old. And so that yellowing leaf, the tick talk of the relentless clock, Caravaggio takes a basket of fruit and he uses it to encapsulate our fear of the passage of time. This work, brilliantly purchased by Cardinal Scipione Borghese, ended up being one of the great harbingers of the next brilliant artistic era in Italy, the era of the Baroque.